Hi everyone, thanks for joining us. Welcome to our community webinar, Design and Promotion Tips for Your Wiki. I'm Sarah Manley, a community manager here at Wikia. I want to start by thanking you for joining us. We will be recording this session so you can watch it again at a later date on our community wiki. As I mentioned before, if you have any sort of um, sound issues or are not coming through great, just let us know um, via the questions or the chat channel and we'll try to adjust it. Every day on Wikia, approximately 600 new wikis are created and 400 new people join our community. Every time I hear this number, I get super excited to think about what new topics people are working on. As a community manager here at Wikia, I know that starting a wiki is just the very beginning of a long journey of content and community building. Many new users and wiki founders see wikis like our Dragon Age wiki displayed here, and they want their wiki to be immediately as successful. We believe every Wiki does have the ability to become as awesome as Dragon Age, but it takes time, dedication, and best practices in design and content to get there. Today's webinar, we will provide you with ways for you to improve your wiki so someday your wiki can be as awesome as Dragon Age. Our presentation will focus on practical tips, common best practices, and ideas you may want to consider implementing. To walk us through this, today we have with us Lauren Robinette, an interaction designer here at Wikia. Lauren will tell us best practices for creating a great Wiki design. Also with us is Sina Heinlein, a senior content production manager at Wikia. Sina will share tips for promoting your Wiki and growing your Wiki community. Hi, I'm Lauren, a designer, and I work on creating new features. Today we'll be chatting about the best practices for creating a great Wiki theme. Design is important to a wiki because it affects how people view and interact with your content. In the next couple of slides, I'll go through basic design principles you should consider when designing your theme. To start, let's talk about space and placement. Keep some negative space. Negative space refers to the space around and between objects. It's important to keep this negative space because it allows your eye to easily digest what's on the page. Make sure important aspects get a prominent placement. This ensures that most, the most important aspects are seen first and foremost. Aligning content into grids and rows. This creates a grid-like design, making it clear for the visitor to understand what's important to check out, as well as reduces clutter. The picture here is a good example of how to think about organized design. In the before picture, it's hard to tell what's really going on in the bucket, whereas the after picture is organized, allowing you to easily see all the individual pieces. Color and patterns are the next elements to consider. Choose colors that complement each other, neither scream out nor blend in together. Pick colors that stand out in a few places to highlight the most important aspects of the page or skin. As you can see here, the bad box is light purple on pink, making the text hard to read. The good box is white text on blue, which has more contrast, making it easier to see. Our main tool for choosing and customizing your wiki skin is called the Theme Designer. The Theme Designer allows you to easily customize your wiki. The top tab has 11 preset themes you can preview and test out. These are a great place to start if you want to try a couple of different looks. The next tab down is Customize. The background area allows you to set one color or upload a custom graphic. When using a custom graphic, a couple of tips. The content width is 1,000 pixels wide. So, you want your background image to be wider so it displays in the side rails. We recommend the width of 1,600 excuse me, pixels, so you have about 300 pixels on each side. This gives a nice frame to the page. The file size must be less than 150 kilobytes. In order to have an awesome skin and meet this limitation, we recommend you try a couple methods to keep it under 150K. Use an image optimizer tool to shrink the file size or save at a lower screen resolution. Use a less complex image along with our tile option, or cut out the middle 800 pixels where the content page covers the skin. Remember though, this only works if you aren't using a transparency. You can also customize page elements including buttons, links, header, page color, and even the transparency of the page itself. Remember, readability is the most important aspect, so be sure to look at the preview to see how the colors look before you hit save. 
Here's a good example of a great skin from the Rage Wiki. They have chosen a background image that covers most of the vertical space and has a smooth transition from image to a solid color. This saves on the file size and provides a great look for both small and large screens. The Boardwalk Empire Wiki has also done a great job. They split the image into two, showcasing the main characters and placing them close to the content. Two last fun places to customize within the theme designer are the Wordmark and Favicon. These can both be standard or also use custom graphics. Here are some of my favorite Wordmarks and Favicons around Wikia. I like how Wow Wiki Wordmark is decked out for the upcoming winter season. I love how the Chelsea FC Wiki has used the logo for the team and turned the word Wiki. And for the Favicon, who doesn't love Indiana Jones? So in closing, Remember, don't be afraid to try out new ideas. Talk to your community and have lots of fun. Thanks, Lauren. That was awesome for all those design tips. Um, here I've created a couple of top community questions we often get um, via co our community support wiki. Um, the first is, if I'm not great at design but I want a cool wiki skin, where can I get help? There's a lot of help on Community Central from other users as well as the content team. Our content team can help you with design and the SEO work. At the end of this presentation, we'll go ahead and give you a link to Community Central where you can find this. Okay, awesome. Um, second, do you have any tips for resizing images? Yes. The most important thing to remember is to keep the proportions the same within the image. This will keep your image from appearing stretched or squished. Okay, great. And lastly, are there any free tools online that can help me with doing some of these design tips? I like GIMP, Pixlr, Cooler.adobe.com. Um, those are all great and free. Um, also, if you do a quick online search for image optimizers, you'll see a list of free tools there. Okay, cool. Um, I just want to remind everyone, feel free to submit questions um, into the, the question tool now to ask Lauren. Um, we'll ask her a few that came through now, and also we can ask her some more at the end. So we have a question from... Dakota Gordon about the color of the info box template. So um, we actually didn't get a chance to cover um, info boxes today since um, we were kind of just focusing on the design of the skin. Um, but this is a great question. You can definitely change those colors and tweak the info box to match your wiki. Um, we recommend going on to Community Central in the admin area, and there's lots of tips um, from other admins who've done changes to their templates. Um, usually, um, a lot of the, the bigger wikis, too, have done lots of changes, and you can often go over um, and ask how they made those tweaks and bring those back to your wiki. So um, hopefully, a future webinar, we can go in a bit more detail about templates. We just didn't want to dive too deep today. But you can definitely um, make changes to those colors, um, both in the, the top of the info box, the bottom, the sides. Um, basically, you can kind of tweak it um, you know, to match whatever works best for you. Um, another question that came in about character size um, and using HTML. Um, for using um, on fonts, you can use certain tags to make the fonts bigger or smaller. Um, we, um, we don't recommend necessarily doing this across your entire wiki. It can get a little complicated, but you can use it in places like the info boxes, or um, you can just use um, some of the standard header um, tools in the editor. Um, so that's one way to do that. And I think we might have one or two more questions that we're going to move on to just at the end as we're collecting them since we kind of have to check in again. Um, so we'll um, collect them, keep sending them in, and we're going to move on to talking with Sina about promoting your wiki. Um, before we do that, just a fun little quiz. Um, so I'm sure a lot of you um, have awesome wiki designs as well as go to other wikis. Um, so we were curious of what you think is the best looking um, design on Wikia right now. If you could send that in, we're taking a little community poll and we'll give you the answers um, at the end of the session. Um, next up um, is Sina Heinlein, who's going to tell us about tips on how to promote and grow your Wiki community. Take it away, Sina. Hi, I'm Sina. I've worn many hats here at Wikia. I'm currently the Senior Content Production Manager. I help Wikis across Wikia grow and flourish. And today I'm going to be talking about some best practices for growing your wiki community. To start, make sure you focus on what gives you the biggest return on investment. This means you should focus on the quick and easy things first and save the complicated stuff for later. 
Make sure you're involving your whole community and ask them to reach out to their friends. It's always easier to complete your projects when you have help. Wikis are all about content, so having up-to-date content is very important for a successful wiki. The, content's what, the content is what brings people in from search, so you'll want to make sure your information is up-to-date with the latest and greatest info about your topic. Make sure you link to other pages in the wiki and that all the pages are properly categorized so that visitors to your site can easily find what they're looking for. Double check that there aren't any orphaned or dead-end pages. Orphan pages don't have anything linking to them, and dead-end pages don't link anywhere else. Both of these things will make it hard for people to search around your wiki. One wiki that really focuses on their content is One Piece. They always have up-to-date information, their pages are really well categorized and presented. Um, stop by the wiki and see what they're doing to get some ideas for your own community. Another important aspect of content is making sure it's curated. What this means is presenting the content in the best possible light. And to do that, you want to make sure that interesting and fresh content is at the top of the page. Have an easy-to-understand navigation that highlights important pages on your wiki. And make sure that your main page has a layout that's easy to understand and navigate. A good example of well-curated content is shown here on the Mass Effect wiki. They have recent news highlighted. Um, as well as a portal that showcases interesting and important information, such as walkthroughs, characters, and races. Another important thing to consider is your wiki's SEO. SEO stands for Search Engine Optimization and is essentially how well your wiki shows up in search results when people are looking for your topic. It's sometimes referred to as Google Juice. Search is a major way that wikis get traffic, so having good SEO is super important. Some of my top pointers for improving your wiki's SEO are to keep the number of links on your main page to less than 100. This will help the search bots reading your main page not get confused. You also want to put the most important links at the top of the page so that they're prominent. When you're uploading photos, use a file name that describes what appears in the photo rather than just a random file name. And make sure you're connecting with affiliate sites. So what are affiliates? Affiliates are sites related to your topic that, share, that you can share links with. Connecting with affiliates is a great way to increase your SEO. Once you identify a related site, there are a couple, of steps you, a couple of steps you should take. Exchange links with them. Make an affiliate page where you can highlight those communities who you are supporting and who will support you. Here you can see uh, True Blood Wiki's affiliate page. You can also create a web ring to show off your on Wikia affiliations. We have here the anime web ring found on many of our anime wikis. Here's a quick example of how using good SEO tips can help a wiki. If you search for Yu-Gi-Oh! in Google, the wiki comes up as the number two search result just below the official site. This is a huge traffic driver for the Yu-Gi-Oh! wiki, and it's a result of using good SEO practices. So congrats to them for their great work. Now let's talk a little bit about social media. Um, creating a presence for your wiki on social media sites can be a great way to broadcast information about your community and your topic. Facebook and Twitter are the most obvious choices, but you should also consider sites like Pinterest, Google+, YouTube, and make sure you're involved with category-specific sites as well. So for example, if you have a wiki about photography, you might want to have a community Flickr account. Here are a couple of quick tips for you to use once you have your social site set up. Make sure you're posting at least once a day and include a link back to your wiki when possible. Retweet important posts from people within your topic. For instance, if your wiki is about Harry Potter and J.K. Rowling posts that she just wrote a new book, you should retweet it ASAP. Encourage the community on your wiki to follow the accounts and retweet and repost from them. And make sure to share the login information with trusted members of the wiki so that the burden of coming up with cool posts doesn't fall on one person's shoulders. There are also a bunch of things you can do on your wiki to help promote and encourage your community. You can run a content drive where you ask the community to help add categories, expand pages, add photos, or create cool blog posts. You can also run contests on your wiki yourself. Maybe you could have a best user page competition and the winner gets to be featured on the main page of the wiki for a week. This is an example of a community-run contest that went on the James Cameron's Avatar wiki. The admins requested that users write poems in the Avatar language and then submit them, and the winner was awarded a prize pack in recognition by the community. 
And remember too, when you're running a contest on Wiki, reach out to Wiki and request a spotlight so the entire Wiki communi community can hear about what you're doing. This is a quick example bringing together some of the tips we've talked about. Batman Arkham City was created for a new video game. We shared links with affiliates, created a custom design, we made sure the main page was easy to navigate, and we followed some SEO best practices. And as you can see, the page view and registered editor results have been great. Wow, Sina, that was a ton of great information. Thanks so much. Um, and also to everyone out there, I see some really good questions coming in. So if there's anything that Sina mentioned that you want to expand it on, now is a really good time to submit those. Um, here's a couple of questions that I have and I hear a lot as a community manager here at Wikia. Um, you mentioned a lot of things. Where, where should people start? What's the best place for folks to start on all the tips that you gave? The, bless, the best place to start, honestly, is content. You want to make sure you have content about your topic because that's what gives people a reason to visit your wiki. And while you're adding that content, keep in mind the SEO best practices so that as your wiki grows, the Google juice it's getting grows right along with it. Great. Yeah, content seems to be kind of king um, on wikis. Um, so this was one of the questions that came in, and, and a lot of what we hear is, if your wiki's brand, uh, if your wiki's brand new, should you start with contests? Contests are actually usually better for a wiki with a decent sized group of editors. If you're new, you should start by doing content drives to get people involved. Once you have about 20 or so people who stop by the wiki regularly, then you can start doing some small contests like the best user page contest I talked about earlier. Okay, wonderful. And then third, where can I go on Wikia to promote and get help with my wiki? If you want to get help of the admin community, there's a great resource for that on Community Central called Sounder and Admin Central which is a great place to find out just what other wikis have done and what's worked well for them in the past. Okay, is that also the same place where you can apply for content teams help and spotlights? Yeah, same thing goes. If you need help with uh, doing designs or getting spotlights, you can go to the Community Central page with the content team and put in a request there. And then we had a couple of questions from the community uh, listening. One is, is there a way to test your SEO results? It's a great question. There is, actually. What you want to do is do private browsing in your browser and search for a topic that relates to your wiki. So, for instance, if your wiki is the True Blood wiki, do a search for one of the main characters and then see where your wiki comes up in your search results. It's important to do a blind or private searching for this because Google will sometimes take into account the sites you visited recently so you could get a false positive or make sure you're clearing your cache and your cookies before you do a search. Okay, so just be clear to do that you go on um, into your settings and clear your cache and cookies and then do a search for say a character and then see where your wiki shows up and then how often would you check that like you do some SEO changes and then maybe a month later check it again? If we're keeping a really close eye on how the wikis are performing in SEO results, we'll look at something once a week. But if you just want to get a general idea of where you're coming up in search results, probably once a month is plenty. Okay. Wonderful. Uh, the next question was asking, Sina, can you just talk a little bit more about link exchange and affiliate button? So maybe what does link exchange actually mean like, and a bit about more about the affiliate stuff? Sure. So what you want to do is Find other fan sites for what you're interested in. Um, if you have a Lego wiki and you want to find other sites who talk about Legos, reach out to them. They'll usually have an affiliate program where they'll link to you and you can link back to them. The great part about this is that the more places around the internet who link to your wiki, the better you'll do in search results. So it helps you move uh, higher in the search results when, you're, when people are looking for things that relate to that topic. And just so everyone knows why search is kind of important, we found um, from, from data at Wikia that search is the number one way that people find wikis. So someone's interested in finding out something about Legos, they type in a Lego character um, or piece, and then, um, and then they end up on Wikia. So having good search is really good at getting new people who maybe don't even know what Wikia is yet to show up on Wikia. Um, another question that came in, was about um, badges. So badges is actually an optional feature. Um, so if you're an admin on your wiki, you can go into the admin dashboard and there you can turn on and off badges. Um, and then you can actually go um, to a page to customize those badges. So if you want the badges to relate to your topic, so say you're from My Little Pony, 
and you want it to be um, a pony badge, then you can go in and actually change the image and the name. Um, and we found that badges can be a kind of fun way to get people um, to make sure that they come back to the wiki as well as doing certain edits. So you get different badges for a number of days that you come back. You get different badges um, for um, uh, different types of edits and, and um, adding photos and things like that. So um, that's definitely um, a good tool to use. And again, you can access it in wiki features within the admin dashboard. Um, the next question, is there a spotlight for small wikis who are under 200 pages? I can't remember right offhand the minimum number of pages for spotlights currently. I think we had dropped it recently. If you are above that minimum, or excuse me, if you're below that, one thing you can do is reach out in the, um, the admin area and ask for help adding pages. A lot of times you just need to add 20 or 30 pages and at, reaching out to your community or reaching out to the admin community to get editors on your wiki is a great way to just bump yourself up to that minimum. Yeah, so currently um, there isn't anything for super small wikis, but um, in our admin and founder central, which you can see if you go to community, you just click on that admin central and navigation. Um, there are some forum posts where you can call out to other editors, um, but that's actually a really good idea also for a content drive to do on your wiki is, hey, let's all get to 200 pages so we can get a spotlight. Um, I think that's good encouragement. Um, there's another question, is there a link to every wiki on Community Central? There actually isn't at this time um, because we have over 300,000 wikis. That's a lot of links. So we don't, we don't right now, um, but if you have ideas around how we might be do a better job of displaying other wikis, feel free to submit that um, through special contact or get in touch with one of us staff. Uh, on Community Central. Um, back to one question from earlier for Lauren. Um, there was a question of how do I create a solid image background and not a tiled background? Yeah, so if you um, want to create a solid image background, um, you just need to make sure that your background is at least uh, 1,200 pixels wide, and then um, you can fade that color into, or fade that image into another color. Um, you can also use the fixed button, which is right next to the tile, and that will lock the skin into place, and then you'll have an image with the color below. Um, so you do have some options there. It's really easy to test out on Theme Designer and get to find really what you like. Yeah, just so you know, tiling is an option that you choose, um, you opt into, not opt out. So automatically your image isn't going to tile. You actually have to go in and check that box. Um, so like Lauren said, you can actually fix it, which will like keep the image in place. Um, so um, don't be afraid with design. You can really test out a bunch of things, um, especially if you're a smaller wiki just getting started. Um, you can also feel free to change your themes over time. So we showed, you know, wow, wiki had that they had a different... Um, word mark for different times of the year. You can also do this with skins and change it up. It makes it fun um, for contributors to come back and see something either themed for the holidays or the season or just something that's going on within your topic. And the last thing to remember is if you are using um, or uploading a small image and you don't see it, um, that means it's really small and it's hidden behind the content. So if you do hit the tile button, you'll see it grow and be repeated over and over. So if you want the solid background, just remember to have a bigger image. Okay, great. If anyone has any final questions, please send them out now. Um, we see that not too many people have voted, um, but some of the top votes for backgrounds are the Avatar Wiki um, and the Backyardigans Wiki, which has a cute, there are little characters there, which are really cute. Um, so if you have other ideas for other um, great Wiki skins, um, please check them out or share them in Admin Central. We're always looking to highlight um, different skins. You can also see on the, on the screen right now, um, that um, the content team does also provide help, um, not with just SEO, but with also making cool skin. So if you feel like um, you're a bit challenged with doing design and want some help, you can actually apply there um, to get design help from some of our um, design specialists. Um, two last minute entries are Mortal Kombat Wiki and Lord of the Rings Wiki. Um, so I want to thank everyone. Um, 
for attending today, and I especially wanted to thank Sina and Lauren for their presentations. Um, they don't usually do presentations like this, so they took time out of their day um, and a lot of practicing with me um, to to do this. So I want to thank them for their help. I also want to thank the behind the scenes um, helper, which is Trella, um, who is answering and helping with all the questions and the setup and letting us borrow her computer. So um, before we finish, like we've been mentioning, there's a lot of help and advice. Um, from within the Wikia community, um, and you can find a lot of these folks and, and staff members on Community Central, which also has our staff blog, which offers lots of tips and updates. The support forum, where we have a lot of um, great Wikians who like to help, help each other out. Um, and then also the content team, where you can help get requests. Um, I want to thank you all for joining the webinar. Um, and um, you can um, follow on the staff blog, Sina, whose username is Zine, X-E-A-N. She often um, puts a lot of both tips for how to promote your wiki and designs on Community Central. Um, so thanks for joining us for the webinar, taking time out of your Friday. Um, and um, congrats to all of you for joining us, and happy editing to everyone. And please, um, if you're interested in these webinars um, or have ideas for future webinars, I've already gotten some ideas from the questions that have been submitted. Um, but we are just about to start planning for 2012. Um, so please send me uh, your ideas if there's certain topics you want to dive more into. Um, and also there you'll be receiving an email with a survey that asks for some feedback on, on the topic for future topics and also if there's better days and time um, for you to attend. Um, so thanks again, and happy editing to all, and have a wonderful weekend.